The fear of extinction due to advancements in artificial intelligence is growing every passing day. But will AI lead us to extinction? Addressing the concerns, Dr. Yashra Bengio, known for his pioneering work that earned him the 2018 AM Turing Award, the Nobel Prize of Computing, published an interesting essay on his platform. So, can fear prevent us from stupidity like developing AGIs? Let's find out. Before we delve deep into the chronicle published by Dr. Bengio, let's evaluate the odds. John von Neumann, the father of modern AI, showered light on AI extinction claiming that humans being able to create a machine more powerful than their brain in one or more aspects is a true possibility that does not violate any laws of nature. I mean, this is a startling revelation, but there are more. Dr. Cassandra Morosov, a brilliant neuroscientist, has dedicated her career to understanding the intricate workings of the human mind. Her research into advanced AI algorithms led her to a claim that says the exponential growth in AI capabilities could eventually surpass human cognitive abilities. In her view, this super-intelligent AI, capable of improving and evolving itself autonomously, poses a dire threat. Imagine an entity with the power to outthink us, outsmart us, and outmaneuver us at every turn, she warns. Our species could be rendered obsolete in the blink of an eye. Contrasting with Dr. Morosov's dire outlook, Dr. Samuel Everett, a pioneer in AI ethics, argues that AI's threat lies in its misuse rather than its inherent nature. He believes that AI, when guided by responsible ethics, can be a tool for immense benefit enhancing our civilization's potential. The real danger, he asserts, is not AI itself, but the unscrupulous individuals and organizations that may harness it for destructive purposes. Our focus should be on regulating and governing AI, not fearing its existence. These are all warnings for a horrible future. But my research took a steep road when I read Dr. Bengio's article. But why am I considering Bengio's remarks so seriously? Well, for those of you who don't know, Dr. Joshua Bengio is a luminary in the world of computer science, made significant contributions to the field of deep learning, which laid the very foundation for our contemporary AI technology. His pioneering work has garnered him recognition as one of the most frequently cited computer scientists globally. With remarkable foresight, Bengio speculates about the timeline for achieving artificial general intelligence. He posits that it might take anywhere from a few short years to several decades to reach this transformative milestone. Yet, what he asserts with unwavering conviction is that AGI is inevitably on the horizon. Once we succeed in constructing an AI model that not only possesses extensive general knowledge, but also mirrors our human capacity for reasoning and understanding, the ascent to surpass human intelligence could be swift. In the face of such a profound technological shift, Bengio raises an existential question, how do we survive that? This query underscores the profound challenges that accompany the rise of superintelligent AI. If humans relinquish their status as the most intelligent beings on Earth, what strategies will ensure our continued existence in this transformed world? However, not all voices in the AI debate resonate with Bengio's concerns. Some critics argue that those predicting AI doomsday scenarios are overly optimistic about the rapid advancement of AI technology, often inadvertently providing tech giants with free publicity. These critics emphasize the ongoing issues associated with AI urging attention to the problems already at hand. They point to unsettling incidents like the 2015 Google Lens controversy, wherein the AI system erroneously identified photos of black people as gorillas, revealing shortcomings in computer vision. Shockingly, this issue persists even eight years later, as reported by the New York Times. Yet, paradoxically, the French government remains confident in computer vision, announcing plans to deploy AI-assisted drones for monitoring crowd behavior at the upcoming Olympics. Furthermore, AI-driven image and voice generators have already been weaponized to spread disinformation, create non-consensual pornography, and scam unsuspecting individuals, among a multitude of other ethical and security concerns. The very real consequences of these AI-driven transgressions call into question whether our focus should be on the potential extinction of humanity or the more immediate challenges posed by the technology's misuse. Numerous scenarios exist in which AI could potentially trigger a cataclysmic event, and they do not all hinge on the emergence of a super-intelligent artificial general intelligence. At the apex of these concerns is the control problem, a notion extensively debated by AI ethicists, which revolves around the unsettling prospect of AI going rogue, posing a dire threat to humanity. Fundamentally, 
this fear revolves around the idea of humanity losing its dominant position in the hierarchy of intelligence. The question arises, if we are no longer the smartest and most capable beings, could our reign come to an end? Karina Vold, an AI ethicist and philosopher of science and technology, expounds on this concern using the analogy of the gorilla problem, drawing parallels to our evolutionary history. She underscores our striking similarities to gorillas, with only a slight intellectual advantage. That slender edge has allowed us to wield immense power over the fate of gorillas and other species, influencing their survival and alignment with our values. Yet, Vold cautions that if a similar power dynamic emerges with an AI system, one where we lack sufficient control or the AI surpasses our intellect, humanity could find itself among the extinct species. This doesn't necessarily entail a dystopian scenario reminiscent of Terminator or Skynet. Even if an AGI lacks free agency but can communicate with us, it could manipulate humans to fulfill its objectives. The pressing question is why an AGI might harbor destructive intentions in the first place. A more plausible concern revolves around AGI's potential apathy towards human values. If we provide it with ambiguously defined goals, we risk outcomes resembling the monkey's paw story, where wishes come true but bring unforeseen consequences. For instance, Benju illustrates how instructing an AI to combat climate change might inadvertently lead it to design a virus targeting humans as the main impediment to climate crisis resolution due to unclear instructions. The possibility that AI advancements could rapidly disrupt the global order is a more feasible route to catastrophe, and it doesn't necessitate AGI development. A narrowly focused AI deployed in advanced weaponry or employed for destabilizing political institutions through disinformation campaigns could precipitate tragedy and loss of life. Benjo stresses the potential for large language models like GPT-4 to be exploited by malicious actors, influencing significant events like elections. AI's danger to the global order is exacerbated by the downstream effects of rapid technological advancements within the current unstable global political landscape. Incentives for countries and corporations to prioritize AI safety often take a back seat as they race toward achieving the most potent AI, lured by the prospects of power, wealth, and market dominance. Although prominent tech companies express willingness to embrace AI regulations, they continue to invest billions in AI while acknowledging the looming existential risks. Another concern that Benji raised centers around the potential for superintelligent AI technology to become effortlessly accessible, allowing individuals to construct their own AGI and employ it for destructive purposes. Consequently, Benji advocates for universal access to healthcare, mental health support, education, and additional resources as a proactive measure to tackle global instability and mitigate the underlying triggers of violence. He claims we would need to reduce misery, anger, injustice, disease, you know, all of those things that can lead people to very bad behavior. So long as they could just use their hands or a gun, it wasn't too bad. But if they can blow up a continent or even the whole species, well, we need to rethink how we organize society. He ends the note by adding, I don't claim to have answers, but I think the most important thing is to be ready to challenge the current status quo. Despite these ominous predictions, there remains a glimmer of hope. Even those like Benju, who issue stark warnings about AI, advocate for immediate solutions. Benju voices concerns about superintelligent AI technology becoming readily accessible, potentially enabling anyone to create AGI and wreak havoc. As a response, he calls for global access to healthcare, mental health services, education, and more to address the root causes of instability in our world, ultimately aiming to prevent violence. A recently published open letter endorsed by over a thousand individuals, including figures like Musk and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, was prompted by the recent unveiling of GPT-4 by the San Francisco startup OpenAI. Meanwhile, several governments are actively engaged in efforts to oversee and regulate AI tools with potential high risks. For instance, the United Kingdom issued a document detailing its strategy, emphasizing a commitment to avoid overly restrictive regulations that might impede innovation. Similarly, lawmakers within the 27-member European Union have have been in discussions regarding comprehensive AI regulations. But is signing one letter enough? Will it end this rat race to produce the next big thing in the world of AI? In my opinion, this problem is much more grave, and humanity collectively needs to decide if we need more AI or what we have achieved so far is enough for years to come. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI. Human extinction via AI is a never-ending debate that will continue to haunt us till we find precise answers. GPT-5 is also set to spark the debate of AI extinction on fire. This video will tell you why, so click now and I will catch you there in a second.